Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Grow channel. In this video, we will learn about machine learning model lifecycle. So let's get started. So let me write down here the subject name which we are going to understand today, which is ML model lifecycle. And this is typically related to uh, the data science community that how when they build their model, then what are the different stages involved with that machine learning model till that starting from the point you start the development till the point it starts serving in the production. So we will discuss all those stages today in this video. So let me write down here that main stages involved in any machine learning model lifecycle starts with the model training. So model training, you call it model training or model development. So this is the piece uh, where the data science community or the data science people build their model, they train their model, they fine tune their model and they fi find the optimized equation for their model. They understand that, okay, now the model has been fine tuned. It is giving the best predictions. So till that time, they are not happy with the outcome of the model. They keep on training, they keep on fine tuning the model and that phase is typically known as model training. So this is more related to tuning of the model or the or you can say model development tuning of model or model development you can say once you have developed the model once you feel that on the test on the sample data set which you have the model is giving the good predictions you you feel that you have the confidence that your model is trained the next step for you would be packaging the model so the next phase will come the second step will be model packaging and what i mean by model packaging is so you will either uh, convert your model or logic into a serialized version and there are different libraries available to convert your model into a serialized format so you will specify all your dependencies which are required to learn to run that model in 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 a production environment so everything you will do you will specify as a second uh, phase of the model life cycle which is model packaging so it comes so model packaging consists of serializing of model and providing the dependencies so that it can go to the next stage and the next stage will come is that whatever uh, model you have packaged you need to validate that model the next stage will come is validating the model validate model what i mean by validate model is so whatever model you have packaged just before deploying that model into production you need to ensure that the model is still running fine on some sample data set so you will validate this model on some sample data set the serialized model would be uh, running on some sample data set it would be generating some predictions and scores you will validate those scores or predictions and you will confirm that okay the packaged model the model which has been serialized is working fine as per your expected behavior in the validate model phase and once you validate everything the fourth stage is the main stage where you will you will be ready to deploy your model so you will send this model for deployment now the model is ready to be deployed the ml engineer machine learning engineers would take your model and it will deploy in the production environment within your organization infrastructure so this model now it would be deployed on and scheduled on on infrastructure deployment would be done for that model and it would be served in production at some scheduled frequency now this model has been now this model either could be a batch model or it can be a real-time model and scheduled frequency when i say it is specific to when you have to run your models at a frequent at, at a frequent uh times on a particular frequency it could be daily weekly monthly whatever you want whenever you want to run your model in a batch mode so this term is specific to batch models and when a particular model has to be served in real time then you will either expose it as a microservice or a rest api 
so whatever way right so you will define your deployment strategy you will choose that strategy and then accordingly you will deploy that model either on a frequency or it would be serving real time schedule frequency or let me write down here the real time phase also either schedule frequency or real time now your model is deployed right but over time it may be a valid scenario that your model performance may start degrading over the time due to any any reason right the the customer behavior has changed the patterns have changed the underlying data uh, on which you have trained your model versus the data that you are receiving today the pattern is not similar so anything can happen behind the scene so it might be possible that your model is not expected your model expected behavior or performance or accuracy is not the same which you were expecting and which were um, there at the time when you developed the model over a period of 6 months 8 months 1 year it could be any time period that your model may start degrading over time and then the next phase will come into picture is the retraining of the model before retraining you will keep on monitoring your model i i'll write monitor also and whatever i i were i was explaining that you will keep on checking the accuracy you will keep on checking the performance of the model so that is also one phase of the model i'll say so whatever model has been deployed you will keep on monitoring that model and uh, once once you feel that your model is not behaving as ex- uh, as good as you were expecting then the next phase will will come is retraining of the model retraining of the model and retraining is now again similar to the model training that you were doing earlier now you have to retrain your model again or fine tune your model again you have to change parameters model parameters you may have to look for new data patterns so all of these things will repeat again you will again retrain your model you will again generate a new equation you will and then the life cycle again repeats itself you will now package the uh, retrain model you will validate the retrain model you will deploy the retrain model again you will monitor the retrain model and then again restarting with retraining will happen again so this is how the typical machine learning or ai model life cycle works and over a period of time you have to keep changing your algorithms you have to keep changing your parameters so that your machine learning model can give you the best predictions i hope you got the overall idea of machine learning model life cycle i tried to explain it in a very simple language so that in any person who is new to the machine learning can understand the can understand this uh, flow that how typical machine learning model works i hope this concept is clear if you like this video do share it with others do subscribe lime guru channel and do not forget to press the like button thank you